His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a phone call with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in which both sides reviewed the broadly historic ties between the two countries and discussed recent developments in the region. His Majesty hailed the initiative of forming an Islamic military alliance led by Saudi Arabia to combat terrorism, in addition to establishing a joint operations center to support military operations. His Majesty also noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain is one of the first countries to participate in the alliance based on the kingdom's keenness to enhance cooperation regarding combating terrorism. His Majesty affirmed Saudi Arabia's pioneering role led by the custodian of the two holy mosques in defending regional and international causes as well as its efforts in combating terrorism. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain celebrating its national days on December 16 and 17, marking the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the 43rd anniversary of joining the United Nations as a full member, and the 16th anniversary of his. Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pride in celebrating Bahrain's national holiday and wished His Majesty the King good health and happiness. He pledged to continue the efforts and hard work needed to move the kingdom towards further development and prosperity. In response, His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, recognizing His Royal Highness's role in advancing the country towards further development and achieving security, safety and national unity. His Majesty the King also received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking Bahrain's celebrations of its national days on December 16 and 17, marking the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, and the 16th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince said that on the occasion, Bahrain reflects on the many achievements and developments that have provided a better life for the people under His Majesty the King's reform project. He said Bahrain has made tremendous political and development achievements thanks to His Majesty the King's wise vision of Bahrain as a state of institutions and law. He pledged to continue with His Majesty's development march for the welfare of Bahrain and its people and wished His Majesty the King good health and happiness and further prosperity to a kingdom under His Majesty's wise leadership. In response, His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to the Crown Prince, thanking him for his sentiments and affirming that Bahrain would continue on the path of progress. He highlighted the progress already achieved in building a promising future in order to achieve security, safety and national unity. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness for his role in developing the kingdom and reinforcing its stability. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from his wife and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain's National Days and marking the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the 43rd anniversary of joining the United Nations as a full member, and the 16th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Princess Sabika expressed her support for His Majesty the King's pioneering initiatives that reflect His Majesty's keen interest in Bahrain's development and welfare. Her Royal Highness expressed thanks and gratitude for His Majesty the King's efforts to upgrade the status of women and for encouraging her to maintain her achievements to reflect the outstanding position of Bahraini women. Princess Sabika also pledged to His Majesty to continue supporting Bahraini women in line with His Majesty's aspirations. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable to Her Royal Highness, thanking her for her good wishes. He noted Princess Sabika's distinguished role in elevating the status of women and enabling them to, con to contribute to the kingdom's social, economic and cultural developments. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today cables of congratulations from leaders of Arab, Islamic and friendly states, marking Bahrain's National Day and His Majesty the King's 16th Accession Day. They all wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. The congratulatory cables were from custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Algerian President Abdul Aziz Bouteflika, Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and Deputy Emir of Qatar Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Thani, Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier and Defence Minister His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty the King also received congratulatory cables from Pakistani President Mamnoon Hussain, Indian President Pranab Mukherjee, Uzbek President Islam Karimov, South Korean President Park Chung-hee, Japanese Emperor Akihito, King Bombilul Abulij of Thailand, King Carl Gustav of Sweden, Pope Francis of the Vatican, New Zealand General Governor Sir Jerry Matapuri, and Austrian President Heinz Fischer. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the national holidays. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's achievements and his contribution in driving the kingdom forward to greater development and prosperity. Prince Salman wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister continued good health and happiness. In reply, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa sent a cable to the Crown Prince thanking him for his good wishes and praising his efforts in Bahrain's development and progress. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from their Majesty's Highnesses, Kings, Princes, Ministers and Presidents of Arab countries on the occasion of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the National Day. They wished His Royal Highness health and prosperity to Bahrain and its people and many happy returns. His Royal Highness received messages of congratulations from the following. His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan Al Bulqih of Brunei Dar es Salaam, Chairman of the Executive Committee of Palestinian Liberation Organization Mahmoud Abbas, the President of Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka Maithripala Sarsina, China's Prime Minister Li Keijiang, Tunisian Prime Minister Habib Said, Prime Minister and Minister of Interior of the State of Qatar Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani, Prime Minister of Sri Lanka Ranil Wickremesinghe, Algerian Prime Minister Abdul Malik Salal, Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak, Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina Wajid, His Royal Highness Governor of Saudi Arabia's Eastern Province, Prince Saud bin Naib bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and Foreign Affairs Minister of Sri Lanka, Mangala Samarwera. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qadabiya Palace City a number of intellectuals, journalists, religious figures, state officials and scores of citizens. The audience congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the occasion of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the National Day, wishing him and the people of Bahrain many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister confirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, is ongoing with its developmental approach, stressing that the the government's top priority is the citizens and meeting their needs. He expressed the pleasure in meeting with the citizens and pointed out that Bahrain has witnessed many important historic turns which showed the loyalty and love of the people. He added that national occasions are an opportunity to celebrate and renew loyalty to the homeland and exert more efforts for its prosperity. His Royal Highness highlighted that the cohesion and national unity of the society must be preserved, stressing that all matters can be resolved in Internally without foreign intervention. Regarding regional developments, the Prime Minister commended the formation of the Islamic Counter-Terrorism Coalition led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which includes 34 Islamic countries. He said that this step not only confirms Saudi Arabia's vital role in combating terrorism, but also proves that Islamic countries reject and fight terrorism. His Royal Highness confirmed that terrorism has no religion and that the attempts to attach it to Muslims 
is wrong, saying that the new formed coalition is a strong response. The Prime Minister asserted that such alliances are required to face and eliminate terrorism and achieve the security and stability of the people to continue the country's development process.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today a cables of congratulations cables on the occasion of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the National Day from the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Eritrean President Isais Afawarki, Tunisian Prime Minister Habib Al Said, and Saudi Governor of Eastern Province, His Royal Highness Prince Saud bin Naif bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. They wished Bahrain prosperity and progress under its wise leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today Deputy Advisor to the United Kingdom National Security Council Sir Gwyn Jenkins at Gudaibia Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted the deep and historic ties between Bahrain and the United Kingdom and noted that bilateral cooperation between the two countries continues to grow across many sectors including military and defence. His Royal Highness then discussed the rise of violent extremism across the region and stressed that Bahrain remains committed to combating extremist ideologies and terrorism financing to protect regional stability and security. His Royal Highness added that the international community must continue to coordinate on strategies and tactics in order to stem the tide of extremist groups. His Royal Highness and Deputy Advisor Jenkins also discussed other issues related to shared strategic goals and interests, including ways to further expand cooperation between the two countries. His Excellency the Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Kharash bin Abdullah Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received today a delegation from the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, the NATO, led by the Commandant of the NATO Defense College, Major General Junus Bojarski, currently on a visit to the Kingdom. The Commander-in-Chief lauded the outstanding relations between Bahrain and NATO and stressed the need to develop the existing bilateral relations and coordinate in order to achieve common interest and strengthen the pillars of security and stability in the region. Under the auspices of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the University of Bahrain held a poetry event on the occasion of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the National Day. Education Minister Dr. Majid Naimi, Youth and Sports Affairs Minister Hisham bin Mohammed Al Joder, and a number of officials were present. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad lauded the participation of the poets pointing out the importance of poetry in expressing the love for the king and the kingdom affirming his continuous support to these events. He also lauded the efforts of the University of Bahrain and the Students Council in organizing such events to develop students' skills, stressing the importance of holding more poetry events, which has a wide interest by poets in Bahrain. Dean of Students Affairs of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Sam al Joder, delivered a speech in which he expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for supporting the poetry events at the university which contributes to show students skills and enrich patriotism in students hearts the president of the student council Abdulaziz al ajmi expressed appreciation for his highness's continuous support in such events stressing the importance of holding national celebration events his highness sheikh nasser honored the poets at the end of the event and the university also gave his highness a souvenir on this occasion
Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, chaired today the weekly meeting where he congratulated the wise leadership and Bahrain on the occasion of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the National Day, wishing Bahrain peace, security, and stability. Al Mullah lauded the positive cooperation between the Council and the government, which contributes to achieve more gains for Bahrain and its people despite the economic and political developments in the region, stressing the Council's keenness to work on the democratic march and support the reform project to achieve the best interest for Bahrain and its people. The Shura Council Chairman Mr. Ali bin Salah Al Salah welcomed the formation of the Saudi-led Islamic Military Alliance to combat and eliminate terrorism. He asserted the importance of initiating, of uniting, and coordinating efforts at the state, which is witnessing a surge in cross-border terrorist acts that threaten regional and international security and peace. He also noted that Bahrain shares the world's stance that firmly rejects all forms of terrorism and extremism and support international and regional efforts to eliminate it. Mr. Saleh further stressed that Bahrain's joining of the alliance comes to activate the kingdom's firm stance expressed by His Majesty the King when he emphasized that Bahrain will spare no effort in the fight against terrorism. The Shura chairman lauded the Saudi initiative to form the Islamic Alliance, which stemmed from a real awareness of the importance of a united Islamic front to fight the various terrorist groups that exploit Islam to justify practices that are not related to the teachings of this religion. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, said today that Bahrain's joining of the Saudi led Islamic Military Alliance to combat terrorism is an assertion on His Majesty the King's policy that serves that security and stability of societies and people. It is also an embodiment of the Kingdom's firm stance that rejects terrorism and voices solidarity and cooperates fully with all efforts to eradicate that scourge and all its causes. The Minister also noted that the formation of the military alliance was a strategic step and launches a new decisive phase in the war against terrorism. He added that the Saudi-led alliance strengthens all forms of coordination and provides the necessary support to military operations against terrorism at all levels and enhance opportunities for its elimination. The minister affirmed that the Islamic alliance was a continuation of the efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, on the regional and international arenas. He also stressed that it was an embodiment of the white Saudi pivotal and pioneering role in combating all challenges that face the Islamic nations in addition to its efforts to achieve security, stability and peace in the region and the world. Sheikh Khalid called on all Islamic countries to join the military alliance which became a necessity to unite efforts and action to counter terrorism and eliminate its roots. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, signed an agreement today with the Russian Minister of Justice, Alexander Konovalov, regarding people sentenced of deprivation of liberty in order to enhance cooperation between the two countries in the field of law by facilitating the transfer process of convicted people to their countries. The minister hailed this agreement and affirmed the ongoing growth of Bahraini Russian relations in all fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, visited the Moscow Grand Mosque in the Russian capital and was received by the Deputy Chairman of the Central Muslim Spiritual Board of Russian, Demir Halilovich. The minister hailed Russia's keenness to open the mosque, which reflects Russia's society openness and tolerance, hailing Russia's remarkable role in maintaining global peace. The minister toured the mosque and was briefed with these sections and facilities. For his part, Demir Halilovich expressed his appreciation for the consolidated Bahraini-Russian ties and wished the kingdom further progress and prosperity.
The President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the celebrations of the UNESCO 70th anniversary at the St. Petersburg International Cultural Forum in Russia. Sheikh Hamay affirmed the importance of developing culture in societies and highlighted the importance of cultural exchange between different civilizations. The St. Petersburg International Cultural Forum celebrations come in line with the UNESCO 70th anniversary in concurrence with the 25th anniversary of inscribing the first World Heritage Site in Russia.